Hi students, welcome back. Today I will be dealing with one section of chapter 4 which is of the units of force. Let's start with the CGS and SI units of force. In CGS unit, the unit of force is dying. One dying is that force which when acting on a body of mass 1 gram produces an acceleration of 1 cm per second square in it. And how does it come? 1 dime is equal to 1 gram into 1 cm square. F is equal to M into A. M stands for mass and A is for acceleration. From that, we are just putting the units of force here. And uh, in CGS unit, we see that the unit of force is 1 dime. The SI unit of force is Newton. We mostly use Newton for the problems. For the tricky ones, you have to be careful because in the tricky ones, in some cases, the accelerations are usually given in centimeter per second square and you need to convert it into meter per second square. Always prefer to write all the answers in SI unit. So SI unit is the force unit is Newton and one Newton is that force which when acting on a body of mass 1 kg produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in it. So now here we will be seeing how what is the relationship between 1 Newton and 1 dyne. See 1 Newton we have I have broke here into several steps to actually deduct the formula. Here we can see that 1 Newton is equal to 1 kg mass into 1 meter per second square acceleration. Now converting kg into grams, 1000 grams meter into centimeter, 100 meters. So this comes to 10 to the power 5 dime. So this is an important formula which all of you should by heart it. For all the problems it is necessary. 1 Newton is 10 to the power 5 time. Note, Newton and Dyne are the absolute units of force. Now, gravitational units of force. The force due to gravity on a body of mass m at a place where acceleration due to gravity is g is given as f is equal to mg. Here, acceleration is substituted by the place of g and what is acceleration due to gravity gravity is that pull or the acceleration with which the earth tries to pull a body or an object towards itself and in mk's unit we can see that 1 kgf is 1 kg mass into acceleration due to gravity g in meter per second square so K, uh, mass in kg and acceleration in meter per second square. You must be remembering what I need to say. That is G Newton. So 1 kgf is equal to how much Newton? 1 kg into acceleration due to gravity. Here acceleration due to gravity we have taken the value as 9.8 meter per second square. So 1 kgf is 9.8 Newton. In CGS unit, the gravitational unit of force is gram force, GF. What is gram force again? The force acting on 1 gram mass of body and the acceleration which is the pull towards it by the earth is measured in G centimeter per second square. So, mass in grams and acceleration in centimeter per second square is always a dyne, so a g dyne. Here, we are taking g in centimeter per second square. So, g is 980 centimeter per second square. So, what is a gf again? Taking the value as g 980 centimeter per second square. So, it comes 980 dyne. So, how does this formula comes? 1 Newton is 0.1 kgf or 1 Newton is 100 grams. Let's see in the next slide. In CGS system, the gravitational unit of force is gram force, right? So, here taking G as 980 centimeters square. Just remember this one. 1 GF is how much? 
989 right now 1 kg if is how much 1 kg into force that is 1 kg is converted here into 1000 gf so 1000 gf again 1000 into gf what is gf here 989 i am putting the value of 989 here directly in the place of g 989 again this one comes as 9.8 into 10 to the power 5 dyne 10 to the power 5 dyne means what 1 newton is 10 to the power 5 dyne we have all, all earlier studied in the slides so directly writing 9.8 newton so 1 kgf is actually 9.8 newton we can take it on an approx as 10 newton i have written here approx 10 newton so 1 kgf is equal to 10 newton so 1 newton is obviously 0.1 kgf that's all for today thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe to my channel